going. All right. How long does it uh, record for? One hour. <laughs> <laughs> hours and hours. All right, 10 milliliters of silver nitrate. And the amounts are not real critical. So if you're a little bit over, it's usually okay. Don't be under. Say what? Yeah, don't be under. Some of them make more of a difference than others. There's one, I did this last uh, institute I did, and one of them just didn't work. Oh, okay, no big deal. And there you have it. Hey. hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. Okay, silver nitrate added to water. What are we going to get? Silver nitrate in water. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, then we add two milliliters of sodium bicarbonate. Yes. Not looking very carefully, not using your chemistry eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's glass, it's clear. How can I see it anyway? <laughs> okay, sodium bicarbonate, what are we going to get? Bubbles. Bubbles? Yeah. Uh, no. Silver carbonate. Silver, silver carbonate. carbonate. Silver bicarbonate. What does silver bicarbonate look like? Uh, okay, see, this is why. When, anytime we're. Let's try a little bit more. It should be cloudy. There we go. There's some cloudiness. Very cloudy. Well, slightly cloudy. There it goes. Yeah. All right. So it should be a precipitate of silver bicarbonate. It's cloudy, and you can just tell your kids that not every precipitate is going to be big, solid chunks falling to the ground. Uh, 10 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. What are we going to get? Silver hydroxide. Color? White. I, I heard white, I heard brown, I heard brownish. Bicarbonate. That's what I asked for. Okay, silver uh, sodium hydroxide. Yeah, brown precipitate. Uh, if you've ever done the experiment where you silver the inside of a flask or a mirror, that's what you see. Uh, sodium chloride is next. What do we get with sodium chloride? Which color is silver chloride? Okay, 30 milliliters of sodium chloride. So in each case, is it like kind of fighting off the previous reaction? Okay, 30 milliliters of six molar ammonia, which I think is in the fume hoods. So. Oh, I'll well, use some ammonia. Is that clear science? Yeah. Why well, do I have students who like, stuck, I'm like, come here, smell this. <laughs> it hurt. It, I'm not happy about it, but. I have no name. Oh, I <laughs> okay, I'm adding ammonia. What am I going to get? Ammonia, NH3. Complex ion. Complex ion. And what will be a characteristic of that complex ion? How will it be different than what you see here? Transparent. It will at least be not a precipitate. So it clears the precipitate. What's the formula for that? A, B, parentheses, NH3. Two, 
and the name is Guy Amin Silver, and that's a complex ion. Thank you. Okay. Uh, sodium bromide. Silver bromide. Okay, and 10 milliliters of sodium bromide. Color? Yellowish. We have a vote for yellowish. Cream colored. Yeah, it's got a little bit of tint there. It's not white. The way the silver chloride was white, but it's in the same family. Sodium thiosulfate. Where are you, sodium thiosulfate? Here you are. Silver. Uh, why not? What color? No idea. Anybody? Transparent. Transparent. I'm just putting what the recipe says. Yes, another complex ion. Really? Would I lie to you? <laughs> Have I lied to you yet? Today? No. So what is this? Uh, four, right? Two. Oh, two? Two of three. I, I'm not sure that's the right formula. I have it in my book. We'll look it up when we get back. No, for the complex. All right. And then we have potassium iodide. Silver iodide. <coughs> Color? Yellow. Purple. Thank you. You never know. Low risk, high reward. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I like that yellow color. Yeah. Yeah. I knew what you meant. And, huh? 10 milliliters of one molar sodium sulfide. So if you want the, the smell, come on up and smell. What are we going to get here? Silver sulfide. What color? It's really that chocolatey brown, like, oh, I love it. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go back to the room. We'll talk about the, the specifics of why and how and what.